god, the hell's that? What's it doing in his bathtub? You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Okay, so, finally playing The Witcher 3, uh, I've left the tutorials on because I am new to The Witcher games, I haven't actually played any of them before, um, so yeah, this is all new to me, so I might suck at first, but, uh, yeah, this game looks incredibly awesome, I, I've been dying to play this game for so long. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Perhaps, Yennefer. <laughs> okay, so you have like Witcher senses uh, by holding L2. I guess this will show you like hidden things or your like guide you to your next objective, possibly. So that's pretty cool. And what's this? To unlock lock doors, walk up to them and press X. Okay, but first I want to have a look at what's out here. Shit. Oh wow! Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Those graphics. Quite the house you've got here, mate. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Imagine living in a place like that. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. <laughs> Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? 
How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Okay, then. It doesn't look like she's embedding any errors to me, though. She looks like she knows what she's doing. She'd probably kick my ass, anyway. Look at her! Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! She was blindfolded as well. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? <laughs> Although an elven bathhouse does sound pretty nice. This is The Witcher 3 and there's no time for slackers. We've got to train. Kill some monsters. So, yeah, no bathing for me. I'll be a sweaty witcher. <laughs> I tell you about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your yeah. steps. Ooh. Siri, cut it out. Okay. No, I'm I'm okay, thanks. Fast! <laughs> na, 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 na. Don't push your luck, child. Aha, beat you. Oh no. Vesemir's got that look. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir.
So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? Friendly. No. Damn. Did that really happen? Temeria, the roads of Isma, May, twelve hundred and seventy-two. Some way off, we've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. <laughs> Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. 
Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In <laughs> certain situations. Oh, really? The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Okay, so we got some ghouls here. Yeah, the combat feels really smooth on this, I have to say. Okay, so you get adrenaline points for uh, striking opponents. So you can uh, use special attacks. That's pretty cool. Of course, when armies pass, necrophage is falling. Let's go before any more show up. So food restores your vitality, which is your health. Ah! Loot system. It's always awesome. I have no idea what these do just yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. Um, oh, I have a horse too. His name is Roach. Tell you about this sorcerer I knew. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can breathe potions from their blood? Yeah. <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they Run, eat the Roach. living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. My character sounds like a mixture of Aragorn from Lord of the Rings and Solid Snake. Is that just me, or is is that just me imagining it? War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The northern realms. Hmm. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. What's this thing? It's a griffin. Looks badass, whatever it is. I'm not going without my horse! Uh, 
Pilt gone. Yeah. Come out. He has a nice haircut. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. In a real life situation, I wouldn't ask anything from you. But this is The Witcher 3, so I could use a few crowns. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this? Here. Thank you, kind sir. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Here it is, my friend. There it is. Come on, Roach. We're off to the pub. Run, Roach. So, a griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountain, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Okay, so note to self, don't disturb the locals. Come on now. What a jackass. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. You're alone on that one, brother. Sorry. What? Witches? I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. You're asking for a pasting, my friend. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in a grave. But it's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Let's have a look what you've got in them. Show me what you got behind the counter. Buy and sell items using the shop. Press X to make a purchase. Okay, so these recover vitality over time.
I will take two chickens, please. What else have you got? And I'll have five potatoes. Thank you. That'll do for now. That'll be enough to uh, keep me going for a bit. Uh, looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, it seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks. For everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Okay, let's go and rattle some cages. You! Sir. You here? I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Jesus, what's wrong with people? Talk now. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Sit down. Drink your beer. So they know nothing. What about you guys over here? Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions! Teams! What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope, but it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Very nice. Thank you. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Thank you for the offer, but uh, I have more important things to no deal thanks. with today. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. 
Ah, oh, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Thank you. I will surely return and play your card game. I'm a man of my word, I will be back. Do you know anything? Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Go on then. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? Have you seen her or not? Yennefer of Venkerberg. Thank you very much. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Maybe so. Okay, right, so... Is that everyone? So... Oh, here we go. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Oh! That one's gonna be, is it? Let's end this, you're dead! Didn't last long, did you, mate? Oh, what are you doing, horse? <laughs> nice meeting you. That's how you do it. All three of you. Okay. Sorry about that, Roach. It's time to go on a little ride. And ask the Nilf Guardians about the To the winds! Will you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. This game looks so nice. Graphically, it's awesome. So far, the dialogue's been sweet as well. It's all over so far, a great game, and it's only just started. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting into this game, I have to say. I'm going in the wrong direction. Taking in the scenery too much and just wandering off from the waypoint. There we go. Place of power. Should draw from it. 
What's this? Uh, okay, so I think this enemy is quite strong. Um, oh, your horse has a fear level. Fair play. I will come back and uh, defeat you, Wraith, once I'm more suitably equipped for the task. Uh, he was like a level 7 and I was like, what, level 1? He'd kick my ass. I will return. Hello, soldiers of Nilfgaardian. <laughs> Ooh, it's a pack of wolves. Back off! <laughs> That did absolutely nothing, didn't it? That's cool that you can fight on the horse back there. Oh god, the horse is scared. That's so how you take out a few holes all at once. Well, hey. Wolf's liver. Take a few of them. Just like some loot crates here. Sweet. I'm always up for a better loot. Coal, leather scraps. Hmm, it's quite a bit in this one. Nails, horse hide, water essence, pig hide. I've stumbled on a gold mine here. Damn, that horse looks like he's had a bad day. But anyway. Continue. Sorry about that, Roach. Scaring you like that won't happen again. Okay, so you have two swords. I think the uh, the steel sword is for humans, and the silver sword is for magical creatures. I think. That's a pretty cool idea. There we go. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Oh yeah, VIP. <laughs> you black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Thank you. And this one. We must requisition the share of your harvest. Nice place you've got going, eh? There is little left in your granaries. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. He seems reasonable. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. 
Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so you can switch for your current objectives using R3. That's pretty cool. Like a quick track. Hello, Quartermaster. Oh, I don't want to Password. attack him. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters? They got a place. <laughs> ah, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Like you to craft something for me. I could can um, craft anything just yet. Either the craftsman's level is too low, or I don't have the components needed. So I will return once I have the correct things that I need. Show me what you're peddling. Be any meth, mate. Be any meth. All right. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't do meth, kids. That's bad. But I will. Have a look at what weapons you have. Damn, I don't have enough money. What well, I do for these? Okay, so... I can't buy weapons off this guy. I have enough to buy these, just not these blue weapons, I assume that they are more powerful or better stats than these. So... Ooh, this one's got a better stats. I'll buy this one. Okay, so 
so long. See you later, man. So if I go into my inventory now, can I? Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's just like a simple click of a button and it swaps out that weapon for you. So this is what I currently have in my inventory here in the center. Ah, so you can have ranged weapons, that's pretty cool. Different armors, trousers, gloves, different consumables. This is awesome, there's quite a lot of customization on this. For your horse too. So you can have a trophy hook so it looks like you can carry like the heads of your fallen enemies. Saddle bags for storage probably. Blinders. So that may help your horse to not get scared. Like its fear level doesn't go up as quick maybe. We'll soon see. I'm definitely liking this. This It's not usually the type of game that I play but this one's really got me by the nuts <laughs> okay but let's continue I need to ask a hunter where he found the bodies what am I doing I'm like <laughs> doing parkour or something roach okay fast travel that makes things a lot easier cool Let's go Roach, we have duties to attend to. So, let's go and ask this hunter where he found the bodies. <laughs> Woo. Ah. Ooh, sorry. Just <laughs> smashed it. What seems to be the matter, my friend? Are you lost? What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you, I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Okay. So, I take it that's a uh, side mission. I, may, I might do that now, actually. It doesn't look far away. Is it here? Okay, movie, yeah. I have to use my witcher senses. I forget about this. Okay, so that's where the car oh, went off. Rode off into the swamp. So I see some freaky ass people walking around in the distance there. Carts riddled with arrows. Is 
So this is a drowner. Do you have his little box? of your ad. Oh shit, what's he doing to me? Okay, yeah, I'm forgetting about the swords. Yeah, I need to use the um, sword on the right, don't I? Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. He mentioned splattered with blood, human blood. Let's go and see what's going on with this. Something smells a bit fishy. Oh, and you find the box. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Ha <laughs> ha! Liar. And I have the box you were after. So thank you for all the hard work. I wonder what's inside it. Oh shit, I gotta chase this guy. Uh, Roach. Faster. After him! Don't get away from me, pal. Kings do the fighting. Freak. Got ya. Think. I'm in the bushes. I'm in the bushes. <laughs> Whoa. Gotta get him out of here. What out of the ground? <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Can't run from the truth. No. Not even on horseback. Now, who are you, and why do you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gilmer, Timurian Sixth Division, Second Regiment, disbanded, but still active, underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine, our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. Hmm. You can go, but I'm keeping the medicine. Nilfgaard will find you and kill you anyways. Why should it go to waste? Take it. And choke on it. Oh, I will. Let's 
scumbag. Go on. Anyway. Let's go and ask the hunter. <laughs> oh, we didn't get far. He bailed off his horse. <laughs> okay. So it looks like there's quite a few little side quests on this. Like, just sort of scattered around the map, which is good. This is why I love, like, open world games. Okay, I'm at the house. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Hello. Trails fresh. His love just left home. There he is. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You were a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more, till these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, gut stuck too late, attacked another one. Aha! That was easy. No match for my fire weapons. Take all that. <laughs> oh shit. Dieter. You're having a bad day? You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found enough guardians? Griffin, no one... Oh, I have a skill point. I've gained an ability every time you level up. Gain an ability point. Uh, an ability's color indicates what branch it belongs to. Yeah. I'll go for that one, I think. Maximum vitality up by 500.
select an ability and then press X to select an empty slot. Ah, okay, so once you've unlocked an ability, you have to then equip it into one of these slots. So it looks like you can only have um, like a certain amount at a time, possibly. Like, so you can decide your own layout. So that's pretty cool. So you can go about the game how you want, want to go about it, sort of thing. Yeah. You can deactivate abilities at any time and activate others in their place. So it sounds like you can customize your own abilities. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Got it. Okay. Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Greetings. Something went down here. Was here. <laughs> One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Thanks, sir. Take a look around, shall we? Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. I hear a dog or something. Are you gonna jump out at me at some time and just have me off? These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Uh, the tracks go up here. Hello. Is that a dead griffin? Thank you. I'll take your sword. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. He knows the stuff. Why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Awesome. So it's telling me that I should prepare before an enemy um, to get the correct sort of potions and weapons before engaging in combat for the specific enemy that you're going to be fighting. If you suspect, uh, if you expect to battle a strong opponent you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character a little bit 
and it gives you an extra chance of winning a fight. So like that Wraith earlier that popped out the ground, he was like level 7. If I tried to fight him, he, he'd probably win. So, like I said, yeah, it's like better to level up a little bit and then go in for the fight. Um, so you don't make an embarrassment out of yourself. <laughs> so yeah, this is The Witcher 3 and so far it's been absolutely awesome. I'm loving this game and I am excited to just dive right into this. But I am going to actually end this episode here. Um, so I will be continuing in this playthrough on this game. It's absolutely brilliant. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like. That would be absolutely awesome. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. And take it easy.